Sorry. Well, look what has come. The old winch mount. Rough country winch mount. Look at that. Power coated black, quarter inch steel. Welded. She's solid. Oh man. When I put accessories on my truck, I love rough country. Whoo, look at that. Rough country suspension systems. Ford F-150 winch plate. Does not fit EcoBoost models. That's okay. We don't have none of those turbos around here. We got a 6.2 V8. All American, baby. I guess it's not supposed to fit the Raptor, but I'll make her fit. We have the technology. Yo, 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 what's up everybody? I am Ty Slim and this is Ty Slim Vlogs. We got a little how-to video for you today. We are going to take the cheapest winch I could find online, the Vivor 13,000, and we are gonna mount it to a rough country mounting plate. Now this is for an F-150, I have a Ford Raptor. They say it doesn't work with the Ford Raptors. I did a little research on blogs and whatnot and I think I can get it to work. I got a grinder, I got a welder. It's going on no matter what. Okay, here's the tools we're gonna to use here for today according to the directions. We got 10 millimeter socket wrench, 15 wrench or socket, 16 wrench or socket, three eighths wrench, three quarter wrench or 19 millimeter, uh, reciprocating saw. We'll see about that, but we'll make it work regardless. We got grinders, we got stuff. You got tools, so we're going to get it done. That noise you hear, that, that whining, that's normal. That's a Ford thing. I'll let you know it's still running. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the skid plate down. So we got about oh, six bolts or so to take the skid plate off and see what we got going on under here. Now grab your 14 millimeter and we're going to take off our tow hooks. Now we're going to remove this little uh, vanity cover here because we're going to have to snake the winch up in here. Okay, now we're gonna try to wrestle this heavy winch plate underneath and use the factory bolts from the tow hooks to attach it. thread that's getting heavy 
heavy. Where's my mother of God? Cross thread's the best Loctite. Okay. Okay, we ran into our first problem. The winch plate needs to come forward a touch, but these three tabs for this vanity piece are in the way. So I'm not scared. Um, this is what happens when you try to put F-150 parts on a Raptor. Um, the Raptor parts will be double the price at least. Uh, so we're just gonna have to do a little modification. Uh, these three tabs, I'm gonna cut them off. Um, they're not gonna be needed anymore anyway because you can't really run this plate again. So I'm gonna have a trick way. I think I'm gonna modify this plate to make it all look nice at the end. But we'll show you here and we're gonna get in cutting. It needs to come forward, so these three tabs have to be removed. Okay, I got my PPE, I got my eyeglasses, my gloves, and my ear protection. So let's get to hacking. Oh, I took the, the guard off just for a little bit of suspense. There's a small tab here somewhere on this front radiator support. Um, it's not even doing anything, so looks like we just need to nip the corner. And I really hope it fits in. Here's the small tab. Right there is what I'm talking about. So we'll get it cut off. right in installs good so now we're going to install the tow hooks back on to hold it up there and then we can get to installing our mount The Rough Country winch mount is installed on the Ford Raptor. With a little bit of cutting and a modification, it wasn't too big of a deal. Uh, you can see the plate is on and it's ready to accept the winch. 
this little chunky 13,000 pound Vivor. So the hard part should be over. So we should just pretty much drop this right in and then bolt it up and do a little wiring and we'll see how it goes. tight fit in here but should go all right we're in just like that the kit comes with a replacement bracket that bolts onto the radiator support so you just utilize the existing holes and bolt it on there To mount the solenoid box, you'll see there's two holes on this little plastic condenser support, and you just bolt that there and you use the supplied little 10 millimeter nylock nut and bolt. Okay, to wire this winch up, uh, I'm just gonna follow the easy diagram that Vivor provided. Um, you wanna put your ground on the bottom first, like I didn't, and then I had to take the winch back out to attach the main ground wire to the bottom. And then everything else, you should be able to access from the top. Red on red, yellow on yellow, black earth on black. Well, the winch is mounted on, um, I got the battery and the ground ran up to the battery and now it's just as simple as putting your little booty and nipples on here and plugging the wires from the solenoid box to the winch and it's pretty simple. Uh -huh. Okay, I got the solenoid all hooked up. Now it's just time to run the main battery wires, connect them to the battery, and then we're ready to see if this thing will at least make some noise. Well, everything's hooked up. I'm gonna disengage the clutch, pull a little line out, and I'm gonna plug in the powered remote for now, and let's just see if this winch does anything. Plug this in. All right, let's see, pull it in. Nothing. Huh, no power. We'll see, check my connections, my grounds, we'll see. Okay friends, I found the problem. Very simple, uh, when something like this happens, I like to go, I went right back to the diagram, made sure I had all my uh, solenoid wires run correctly, and then I just kind of started saying, you know, is it a power or ground issue? And that's what it was, uh, keep it simple, stupid. This is a little ground wire from the solenoid box, and I had it grounded on this uh, crusty old horn mount, so I wasn't catching good ground. I held it to a decent, a better ground, boom, the thing fired off. So I'm just gonna uh, buff this corrosion off this crusty old mount and put it back, and then we should be good to go.
All right, now that our ground's fixed, round two. Let's see if this thing works. like a jackrabbit looking good though so that's pretty exciting I'm just gonna tidy up the wiring um, zip tie everything where I like it and then I'm gonna work on this front fascia plate uh, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of a custom work to get it to look clean in the way that I want it okay we got the truck almost done put back together but our next problem is here since this is for an F-150 and this is a Raptor this Goofy front plate was supposed to go over here. Either way, it looks like total garbage, so we're not using that. Maybe it's good for those F-150 guys, but not for us Raptor guys. Um, now here's my next idea. I'm gonna use the original honeycomb here. Uh, I might just try to kind of cut out around here and see if it fits in and I can still use all the existing mounts. Um, if that doesn't work, I might just be able to use cut down here and cut down here and use this, just this corner. So either way, we're going to try to get it look as hidden as, as factory as possible. about like 10 cuts this is what I came up with and I know it looks a little raggedy and jaggedy but it's hard to cut this stuff I just go quick and fast with the old wafer wheel on the grinder and this is all gonna be tucked up in I got to use these existing bolt mounts and then these tabs here and it's gonna look pretty trick when it's in let's
Well, here's the finished product. I had to do a little modification here to make everything fit nice, but I think the install came out clean. I used factory components and used all the actual plastic pieces, so I'm definitely pleased with it. I hope this was a good tutorial for everybody who is wondering if they could put just a regular F-150 winch mounting plate on their Raptor. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed the install. I hope this can help somebody out. Um, it wasn't too bad, just since I wanted to make this cheaper winch plate work with my truck, I had to do a couple modifications. Uh, it all turned out really well. Just a couple workarounds, and you just gotta be patient and know that you're gonna get it done in the end. Well, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I am Ty Slim. This is Ty Slim Vlogs. Everybody, stay positive. Well, I only have this many extra bolts. I'd say I didn't do too bad.